Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, and a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful to let I came out there pushing his word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah has created us to do. So he can wake up and seal the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and you Israelites who are scattered amongst the heathen nations that may look like the heathen nations, but your father's seed line goes back to you being a so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American. One of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. And Shalom. It's your brother Halakia from the GMS Denver camp coming back once again through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah with another video. And before we start, we're going to get into Jeremiah 28 and 8. It says what? The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil, which is bad times, and of pestilence. This is what the true prophets of the Lord will be telling you because what? The true prophets are going to come and tell you what the will of the Heavenly Father is. The true prophets are not going to be fabricating anything. The true prophets are not going to be remixing the Most High's doctrine. The, the, the true prophets of the Lord are going to give you the 100% the truth, unfiltered, raw, and uncut, man. You see? As we have received it from the Heavenly Father through Yahweh Shah by way of the Holy Spirit. You see? And there is nothing but bad times coming to this planet Earth. And our, and, and, and our elders have told you this. You see? For multiple decades, man. And now we're finally coming into these times. You see? This is what's about to uh, grip the earth, man. War, evil, and pestilence. Ain't nothing good about the times we're coming into, man. As the Christian church will have you believe. And as you two-third Israelites want to hear, you want to hear that this place is going to continue on. You want to hear that this place is going to get better. You want to hear that you can uh, set roots here and, and worry about seeing your great-great-grandkids grow up in this place. That's not what's about to happen. America's going down, man. You see, nothing but bad times is coming to this place. You see, and the men of the Lord are here to tell you this through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. You see, now what I, why am I, I'm, I'm going into this because I have a video that I want to bring out that one of the brothers sent to the uh, the chat, man. And this is uh from Odyssey. It says, well, how the elites plan on killing us, George Green Insider. Now, I'm going to do this video. I don't know if it's going to get striped, but hey. To hell with it because this need to come this needs to come out because we have been what this man is saying, beginning with our apostles and our elders, you see, and, and the elders that came before them, we have been saying this the same thing over and over and over and over again, man. And now you have an insider confirming all the things that we have told you. You see? Now listen to what this man says. Currency under the uh, Homeland Security or FEMA, if you want to call it, um, they're going to declare an emergency, which are going to shut down everything. But my friends, my CIA associates, I don't even call them friends anymore. CIA is crooks in action. Yeah. They're, all <laughs> they're all professional liars. Yeah. I mean, they, they got to be if they have that job. Yeah. So you have to look at what they're doing. Anyway, they're so concerned, they're leaving the country too. Most of them are going to Latin America. Uh, meanwhile, they're closing in every day right now, just closing in to make it so we're going to be set up in these enemy prisoner war camps. Nice. I published a book. It's called Chaos in America. Mm -hmm. In it, I was asked to build an enemy prisoner war camp. I put the contract in this book. So you can read it for yourself. This is in downtown Las Vegas, right on the railroad tracks. It says enemy prisoner war camp. They're all on top. And they're building them all the way across the United States right now. Bush signed an executive order, um, taking the old forts and the army places that we shut down to get those organized to hold the so-called dissidents. Now, what's the definition of a dissident? And the problem is that we're going to enslave ourselves because most of the people want to keep having food coming in and you're going to follow the line. You're just walking yourself into uh, your own prison camp. Then we're going to come down to the extermination, just like World War II. 
Right. Well, Phil, right Phil and I have lectured together. I know Phil's not. He's dead now. He's, he's, yeah. yeah, I know he's dead. And so what, what, what about what he was saying about the number of bases at that time? I think it was 129 bases before he died. Underground had already been built. Is that all for the elite? Yeah. Really? What are they going to do with the rest of the people? They just get rid of them, leave them above ground and be radiated. Now, my son happens to be a nuclear physicist. So now he's going into this. So it's, it's a lot of stuff that he's bringing out in this video. But what we're going to focus on in this video is the prison camps, man, which is all written and recorded in the Holy Bible, man, going away, going all the way back to the time of the prophet Ezra. You, you see, before America was even thought of, you see, these things were prophesied, and here we are living in these times where these, where these prophecies are about to be fulfilled, just as the prophets have told you over and over again, man. You hear this man talking about right here, FEMA camps. You see that? This is what's coming because what? This is a part of Jacob's trouble. And the main ones that, that's going to be thrown into these camps are who? You Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You are, the, you are the chosen people of the Lord. You are the Israelites, man. And great wrath is about to come down upon you. You see? Let's get right here. Let's go right here. Let's get uh, Jeremiah. 30, and we'll start at 4. And these are the words which Yahweh spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah. This, this, is, this is concerning all 12 tribes, northern and southern kingdom. You so-called Hispanics and Native Americans, you see, will be considered northern kingdom Israelites. You so-called Negroes, which are your, your, your so-called Haitians, your West Indies, you will be the southern kingdom of, uh, of Judah. So this prophecy is pertaining to all of you Israelites, especially the ones of you who live in the land of America. Verse 5 says what? For thus saith Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, and that's the Heavenly Father's name. The Heavenly Father, the Heavenly Father, his true name is Yahweh. Yahweh. You see? Bahashem, Bahashem means in the name. Of Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah is the one who you ignorantly called Jesus Christ. That's the name you have to call on to be saved, man. His name is not Jesus Christ. His name is Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah. You see? That is all, that is the Lord and Savior of the nation of Israel. So Jeremiah 30 and 5 says what? For thus saith Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah. So Yahweh in the name of his son, Yahweh Shah. We have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. You hear that? Because that's what's coming to the to the world, man. Especially here to America. You see, this is going to happen all throughout the world, but it's going to happen on an even greater level here in this land because the wickedness in this place it, it, it is has reached up to the heavens, man. Don't let these people f f fool you. Telling you that peace is coming. That everything is going to be okay because it's not. The Most High is about to throw the land of America into a complete state of chaos, man. You see? And that's and that's going to be a form of judgment from Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah. Verse 6 says what? Ask ye now and see whether a man doth travail with child. Can a man have a child? The answer to that is no. <laughs> then he goes on to say, Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins, as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness. So he's asking, can a man have a child? And if and if not, why are all these men out here with their hands on their loins? You know why? It's because they are, they, are, they are going to be in great fear. That's what's coming upon you, man. This is the punishment that the Most High is about to send upon two-thirds of the house of Israel. Great fear, great terror, man. And man, men are going to be so afraid it, they, they're gonna be. It, they're gonna have pains as a woman in travail, man. The Most High is about to pour terror upon you, people. Verse seven says, "What? Well, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it." And we just watched a portion of that video of old boy saying, "What? They have prison camps prepared all throughout the country." And who do, you who do you think the main target is? You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You Israelites. 
We're going to get to the prophecy, man. But this is what's coming. The time of Jacob's trouble. This is what's coming, man. Let's get Daniel 12 and 1. It says what? And at that time shall Michael stand up. The great prince will stand up for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. You hear that? So this time of trouble that's about to, to, to grip the planet Earth is a time you people have never seen before. A time that has never been experienced on this planet Earth since there were nations on the Earth, man. You see, this this time we're entering into, the, 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 uh, the flood doesn't even compare to this time we're entering into, man. Uh, a flood where the Most High flooded the entire Earth and only saved eight people. The time we're enter, enter, entering into in, into the, in the near, near future is what? It's going to be even greater than the time of the flood, man. That's how bad it's going to be out here. You see? That it's about to get ugly out here, man. It's about to get very savage and brutal in the land of America and all throughout the world, man. But especially here in Babylon the Great. You see? It says what? And at that time, thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. And that's talking about what? The elect of Israel. Those of us, Lord, will not be a part of that number. Who turn back to the heavenly Father by by uh, through faith in our Lord Yahweh Shah. You see, that's how we're going to escape these perilous times that we're entering into. We're going to escape through what? Through faith in the Lord Yahweh Shah. You see that? That's how we get up out of here. There is no other way, man. Yahweh Shah is the only way. So let's get this. Let's go to 2nd Ezra chapter 16 because, hey, this was prophesied, man. This is 2nd Ezra 16 and 67. It says what? Behold, the Most High himself is the judge. Fear him. Leave off from your sins and forget your iniquities to meddle no more with them forever. And this is what we're supposed to be doing as Israelites, man. Putting off the BS that we learned in this world that we were cultivated in. You see, the gang life, how you deal with how you deal with your brother, how you, hey, you, you all all the manners that we learn here in America, you have to put that off and come and walk in the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. You see, you have to repent and become a new creature through your faith in Yahweh Shah. Leaving off from all the shit that the so-called white man has taught us because that because that's what you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans cleave unto. You see, even your black history, man, who gave you that? The so-called white man gave you that. That's bullshit. All this Chicano and Negro shit, who gave you that? The so-called white man gave you that. Leave off from that and come back to your come back to the true understanding of who you truly are. You are a Hebrew Israelite, man. You're not a so-called black, Hispanic, or Native American. You are an Israelite from your respective tribe, man. Whether that be Judah. Or Issachar, or Zebulon, or Gad, or Reuben, or Asher, or Naphtali, or Zebulon, you see, or Benjamin, or Levi. That's who you truly are, man. You have to leave from all, uh, you have to leave off from all that bullshit the so-called white man has given you because he's your enemy. He's giving you things that that that, that doesn't tie you back to our heavenly Father, man. Everything that you've learned here in America, it keeps us separated from the Most High. And this is why people are in the condition that they're in, man. You're not in a good case here. You you, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are, are, are not living a good life. I don't give a damn about what what kind of worldly possessions you have or how much uh, uh, or what your financial resources are. You're not living a good life, man. You're being ruled over. You're being oppressed. You see, you're being targeted. You're being gunned down. You're being hunted, man. So this is why we're calling out to our people. To, uh, so let me say it like this. This is why we're calling out to the elect of Israel and telling them to repent. And when you do that, what does it say? So shall the Most High lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble. So when you leave off on the bullshit that you learned in this world and come believe upon Yahweh Shah so he can bring you back to the Heavenly Father, you will be delivered from all trouble, man. Because now you're on the right side. You're doing what you're supposed to be doing as an Israelite. 
You see? And why is the most high telling us these things? Why is the most high telling us to repent? Verse 68 tells you why. For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you. And who is that talking about? The heathen nations, beginning with the, the nation of Edom, which is the so-called white race. Their wrath is kindled over us, man. They're making preparations behind the scenes right now to come down having great wrath upon you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. This is why the Most High is telling you to repent, because if you don't repent, you can't receive any protection. And when the so-called white man comes down, when the Edomites come down with that great wrath, you see, you're going to be swept away in it because what? You refuse to repent. You refuse to acknowledge your Hawa Ba'ashim and Hawa Shah, so that's going to lead to your death, man. The only way we have any protection out here from these enemies and all the nations of our enemies, but the chief enemy is who? The so-called white race. And this is why we have so much tension between us, man. It's because they are the Edomites and we are the Israelites. You see, we have a long history with these people. And it's, and it's always been hatred between us even when we were in the womb, man. Nothing's changed. And, and, and a lot of you Israelites are about to find that out when this Jacob troubles pop, Jacob's trouble pops off. So it says what? For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and they shall take away certain of you and feed you being idle with things offered unto idols. You hear that? They shall take away certain of you and feed you being idle. Being idle is being sit That means you're sitting still. And where is that going to take place? In these FEMA camps, man. You see? And these detention centers that they that, that, that they are erecting all throughout the country, man. It says what? And, and, and with things offered unto idols. They're going to try to get you to take that juice, that jab. They're going to try to get you to take that CHIP. You see, those are things offered unto idols, man. Things that we're supposed to refrain from. Why? Because we are the Israelites, man. We are to stand against that even unto death. Verse 69 says what? And they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden underfoot. So all you coon ass Israelites who think that you're going to side with the so-called white man and you're going to be okay. You see, you're sadly mistaken, man. Because if you consent unto them, you see, Esau being the devil that he is, he's going to betray you. You're going to be made to look like a fool, man, because you tr you trusted in your enemy when the most I tells you not to do that, man. You see, let's get that real quick. Because a lot of you Israelites have forgotten that this man is your enemy. 12 and 10. Surat 12 and 10 says what? Never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rust of swords is wickedness. Who are our enemies, man? You can go read it in Psalms 83. All these heathen nations are our enemy, but the chief enemy is who? Esau, Edom, the so-called white race. Because according to the curses, the Most High told us that we would be sold unto our enemies for bond men and bond women, and no man shall redeem us, man. You see that? We were sold on auction and blocks here in America. You see? So-called Hispanics, Native, uh, so-called, uh, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. We were sold on auction and blocks. Who sold us? The so-called white man did. That makes him what? Our enemy. This man has no good intentions for you. You're not supposed to be going along and, and doing everything he's telling you to do. You see, especially when it goes against our Heavenly Father and, our, and His only begotten Son, man. That's why the Most High gives, gives us the game of what? Never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. This man ain't changed. He's the same damn devil that stole this land from you so-called Hispanics and Native Americans by way of the sword. This is the same damn devil that bought you so-called Negroes over here on slave ships to build up this land, man. This is the same people, the Edomites, man. You see? These are the same people, man. And you're not supposed to trust them because they are the enemy. Second Edge of 16, back in it. So it says what? Second Edge of 16 to 69. And they that can send unto, unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and tried in underfoot. You're, you are going to be trampled under because you put your trust in the enemy, man. Well, you're not supposed to do that. He's going to make you look like a fucking fool. 
Verse 70. Hey, so for all, uh, going back to verse 69, and for all you false Israelite camps out here who are telling our people to go along with this madness that Esau is bringing forth, you see, you are going to be destroyed, man. All of you, all of you false camps, you see that's out here taking those 501c3s, your ass is going to be trodden underfoot because you put the trust in the enemy, man. He's going to betray you as he has always done. That's, that's in his blood, man. That's in his nature. This man is not to be trusted, man. Verse 7, he says what? For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection. And when you go into the word insurrection, it goes into an uprising. And who is this uprising going to take place? Uh, who is this uprising going to be against? Upon those that fear the Lord, which are who? You Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. This is going to be happening all throughout this country, all throughout the world. But like I said, mainly here. And Babylon, the great America, man, it's going to be even worse here. You see, they're going to come and snatch you out of your homes, man. You see, they're going to rise up against you. You see, and forcibly remove you from your, from, uh, your apartment or your house or whatever you have here in America. And what, and what are they going to do? Take you to those prison camps, man. Why? So they can slaughter you. You see? Verse 71 says what? They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. You hear that? The most I was about to have this devil show you who he truly is, man. His true colors are going to shine forth in these, in these, uh, in the coming future, man. And the most I was going to let it happen. Why? Because this man is the most I sword. You see that he's going to use to punish two-thirds of his people. Those who refuse to repent. Those who refuse to believe, man. They're going to be like madmen out here. Not giving a damn about who you are, who, what your age is. They ain't going to care if you're man, woman, or child. You see? It's going to be open game on everybody, man. Especially if you're an Israelite. You see? Verse 72 says what? And they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses, man. You see that? So all you Jays that's putting you, you're putting your, uh, your whole faith and trust trust and building up your pantry or getting ammunition, that shit ain't going to ain't, ain't be uh, beneficial for you in the times we're coming into. They're going to take everything away from you, man. And you're going to kick and you're going to scream and you're going to fight. This is not right. This ain't fair. Why are you doing this to us? You see, this is my house. I pay rent here. I pay mortgage here. You can't do this. This is private property. Da, 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 da. This is what you're going to be saying, man. But guess what? They're going to take you up out of your shit, throw you, throw you into the back of those vans, and haul you off to the FEMA camps all throughout this country, man. This is what's coming upon you, and this is why we have been telling you so fervently to repent and turn back to the Lord, man. Because this day is fastly approaching. It has to happen because the most I said it would. The most I hasn't speak uh giving us these prophecies just for them to just not be uh fulfilled or, or accomplished. Everything I just read is gonna come to pass. And that includes these FEMA camps, man. You see, a lot of Israelites are gonna die in these camps. You heard the insider, man. All he did was reaffirm what we've been telling you. Because you Jays don't believe shit unless it comes from the so-called white man. But the men of the Lord have been telling you this, man, over and over and over again. And, and giving you the evidence to prove it. Well, all you, all, you, all you really had to do is believe what we're telling you. You see? But this is coming, man. And this right here was prophesied to happen even before America was even thought, uh, uh, even thought of, man. The time of Ezra, nobody was thinking about America. America wasn't established back then. He he was giving us a prophecy from all the way back then, pretending that it was about to happen now. You see. But verse seventy three says what, and this is what's going to happen for those who repent. Because at the end of the day, those who repent, 
and believe upon your house is going to be protected. They're going to be kept safe in this time. And, and that's why it tells you in verse 73. Then shall they be known who are my chosen. And they shall be tried as gold in the fire. Why? Because the chosen, the elect of Israel, that remnant, is going to be protected. It's going to be uh, uh, guarded, man. It's going to be saved in the day of affliction. Why? It's because we turn back to the Lord by believing upon his only begotten son, Yahweh Shah, as we have been commanded to do as Israelites, man. You see, this is not a, a, a fad or a joke or a game, man. You see, the true believers have been out here taking this seriously because we know and understand uh, uh, the consequences for uh, thinking that this is a joke. This is life or death right here, man. Either you are with Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah to be saved, or you're against him and you're going to be destroyed. And that's what, those are the only two outcomes. You see? The Most High is not going to save or protect or deliver someone that's talking about miracles ain't going to be done. Or ain't no chariots. Or you, you don't need to worship the Lord. Or you don't care what Mark says. Or you can have sex on the Sabbath. The name of the Most High don't matter. All nations can be saved. Esau can be saved. All this BS that you other camps are preaching. The, the Most High is not going to come to your rescue, man. Because you dudes are not right. You leading, you leading your congregation astray. So guess what? The Most High is going to destroy you. Now to those sincere brothers and sisters who may be amongst those congregations right now, hey, come up out of that bullshit, man. All that, all that carnality, that 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 trying to uh, assimilate that the, the the BS of the world into the truth. You see, that's not what it is, man. We're not here for that bullshit. We are here <laughs> to turn back to the Most High. You see, to admit that we were wrong, that we're in this situation because of us. You see, we're here to believe upon Yahweh Shah so we can be saved, man. We ain't out here to be cute. Or out here trying to be uh, fucking trying to condemn people for wearing they uh for not wearing their fringes uh 24 hours of the day. That don't that don't matter, man. Your inward man has to be changed, your mind, your, your thought pattern, man. You see? That has to be changed, man. Coming up out of the out of that old man and coming into the new. That's what it's about. Having faith in the Lord Yahweh Shah to save us. You see that? And those who believe in him will be saved as it is written. So verse 74 says what? Hear, O ye my beloved, save the Lord. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand. You see that? And what trouble is that? The time of Jacob's trouble. They're, they're, they are at hand and they're fastly approaching each and every day, man. I say right now as I make this video, the elites are behind the scenes making preparations to bring these prophecies to pass, man. Because that's who the Most High is going to use to bring these things to pass. He's using the so-called white man beginning with the elite. Hey, putting the final, 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 uh, the finishing touches on these damn camps, man. That's what they're doing. The days of trouble are fastly approaching, man. Now is not the time for all that bullshit that you other guys are doing, man. You see? So the most I tells us the, the days of trouble are at hand, but what did, what does he say? What does he say he's gonna do? But I will deliver you from the same. And why is he going to deliver us? Because the Lord will not be a part of that number. It's because what? We left off from the bullshit that we learned in this world to come back to, to the true wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. We have faith in Yahweh Shah, a faith uh, that, that get a gift of faith that was given to us from the Heavenly Father, man. That's why he's going to deliver us, man. That's why he's going to save us. You see? So it's time to repent, Jake. It's time to come up out of that madness and come back to what's real, man. It's time to it's time to snap into reality, man. Because this is about to go down. Verse 75 says, What? Be not afraid, neither doubt. For the most high is your guide, man. The most high is gonna guide us through this. You see, that's why you have to repent and start building that relationship between you and and Yahweh Shah. So you can know that in the times we're coming into. Because if you're not 
stable and, and firmly rooted in that, man, you're going to break. You're going to fold. That's why we're telling you that this is not a game, man. This is not about a, a popularity contest of who got the cutest garments and who wearing the fringes and the cookouts and the, and the fucking high-profile Passovers. It ain't about that, man. It's about getting right with Yahweh Shah so he can protect us when all hell is breaking loose because all that bullshit that you're uh, entertained by and that you're attracted to right now, you see, you're going you're gonna to wish you did it the right way when all hell breaks loose, man. You're going to wish... That you took this more seriously, seriously when all hell breaks loose. You see, because all that carnality that tying the world into the truth, all that bullshit is not going to profit you in the day we're coming into, man. You see? Rapping and all that, man. Fuck all that. You see? Great death is about to grip the earth, man. Great judgment is about to be poured out. So now is the time to repent. Come back to the Lord, man. Hey, because of, hey, and if you don't, hey, you're going to die. Point blank, period. Ain't no other way to put it. <laughs> you see? So, yeah, man. There you got. Oh, man, come on. Oh, there it is. Spent the last three and a half years in a secret. George Grant, look at that. Depopulation agenda. FEMA camp. <laughs> FEMA. <coughs> you see, FEMA. You see? Prison camps. This is what's coming, man. George Green Insider. This is a top level Edomite telling you what's about to happen. And the men of the Lord have been telling you this for decades, man. And it's right around the corner. Now wrap it up on that one, man. Let's get Ezekiel 33. Matter of fact, let's, let's start at 30. Ezekiel 33 and 30. Also, also thou son of man, the children of thy people, still are talking against thee by the walls and in the doors of the houses, and speak one to another, every one to his brother, saying, Come, I pray you, and hear what the Lord, and hear what is the word that coming from the Lord. You come to these videos, you, you take it as entertainment. You know what I'm saying? All on the comic board, all praises to the most high, that little acronym you put. You know what I'm saying? The water brother, da 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 da. You see? Verse 31 says, What? And they come unto thee as the people cometh, and sit before thee as my people, and they hear thy words, but they will not do them. You see that? You hear, and that's telling you to repent, but you don't want to do it because you think it's a game. You think we're crazy, man. You see, you think we out here just wasting our time and wasting our life, but we are here as a sign of, we are out here as a sign of compassion from the Heavenly Father, man. You see, but a lot of our people that they don't want to do nothing the most I says to do. You see, and it's going to be to their own destruction. It says what? But they will not do them for their for with their mouth. They show much love, but their heart goeth after their covetousness. You see, you want to do your own thing, man. And do it. And that's why the most I tells you what? Trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not up and lean not to thine own understanding, man. You see, and this is what we're trying to teach you through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh to trust in the Lord and leave off from your own vain thoughts and opinions because that shit is going to get you put to death. You see? Verse 32 says what? And lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one that hath a pleasant voice and can play well on an instrument. You see, you love the the, the 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 fact that you're an Israelite, but that's as far as you take it, man. You love the fact of wearing the fringes, but that's as far as you take it. You see? It's deeper than that, man. You have to leave off from the from the BS, man. You still got Israelites out here celebrating fucking holidays, man. Celebrating Christmas and Halloween and shit. About to celebrate Easter. You see? But you calling yourself a Hebrew Israelite. That's bullshit, man. It's time to come up out of that madness, man. Ezekiel 33 and 32. And lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one that hath a pleasant voice and can play well on an instrument. For they hear thy words, but they do them not. You hearing us on making these videos every day. You see us on the highways and byways each and every week. You see, you acknowledge the fact that you're an Israelite, but you still refuse to do what Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah has commanded you to do. 
You see? So, when all hell breaks loose, there is not going to be any excuse. You see? In that time, man. Because you have heard us saying these same things over and over and over again. And you even come on the comment board and say, why y'all keep going to the same thing? Because everything that was supposed to come to pass is already being written. Ain't nothing new for to be written, man. Everything has, that, that needed to be said by the, by the Most High has been said. And we're just waiting for it to come to pass. And this is why we're repetitive, man. This is why we sound like a broken record over and over and over again. Jacob's trouble over and over and over again. The destruction of America. The salvation of Israel, the second coming of the Lord, the MOTB, which is the CHIP. You see? Because all we're doing is, is breaking the scriptures down through the Holy Spirit. And everything that needed to be said has been said. And everything will come to pass, man. And that includes the time of Jacob's trouble. So Ezekiel 33 and 33, and it says what? And when this cometh to pass... Lo, it will come, then shall they know that a prophet have been among them. And that's what you're going to realize when it's too late. That everything that we have been telling you through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua has been true. You see, and you're not, going to, you're not going to realize it until it's slapping your ass in the face, man. You see? But at the end of the day, us as the prophets of the Lord, man, we're doing our job. And we'll continue to do it until the most I says that's enough. We're going to continue to wash the blood of our hands. We're going to continue to put up these same videos, bringing out these same scriptures, making these same points over and over and over again until it's in, until it's done, man. You see? Now you Jacobs will have no excuse in that day. You better, hey, better get your shit together. Because when it comes, man, you see, like, like how I said, it's going, to, it's going to come just as in the days of Noah, man. As a thief in the night. So, hey, man, hey, with that, I'm going to give all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Rekak, Wadash. A hey, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, and a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful of that I out there, pushing his word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah has created us to do. And hey, with that, I'm going to say Shalom, Wah, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah.